thank the Lord for being here. I give honor to Pastor Cole and his wife, Sister Cole. I give honor to my pastor, Superintendent Charles Sanders, and his wife, Mother and Monroe Sanders. Please pray for me. Amen. Before I get started, let me tell you a small story about a man called Ordinary. Or the Ordinary was a nobody who lived in the land of familiar. One day, Ordinary was inspired by a dream. His dream inspired him to be a somebody and to accomplish great things. So he set off on a journey to the land of somebodies. On the way, he experienced being lonely and he faced giants. But with the help of the dream giver, he kept moving. He kept pressing until he reached the land of the somebodies. Today, I want to talk to you from the subject, Inspired to Move. In John the 8th chapter, after, the, after Jesus told the woman who committed adultery to go and sin no more, Jesus began to talk to the Pharisees and those around. He began to tell them that he was the light of the world. And the Pharisees asked Jesus, Where is and Jesus talked to the Pharisees, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And all while Jesus was speaking, the Pharisees were trying to find ways to accuse Jesus and have a reason to kill him. And they didn't believe that Jesus was who he said he was. And, and the Pharisees asked Jesus, Where is thy father? And Jesus answered, Ye neither know me, nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am ye, ye shall die in your sins. And the 29th verse says, And ye that sent me is with me. The, fa the father has not left me alone, for I do always those things. And verse 30 says, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Here, this is where we see that the people were inspired when they were motivated and when they were touched. And just like some of the people were inspired, our youth needs to be inspired too. Amen. It's important for our youth to be inspired. If they're not, how are they going to be something in life? All right. And how will they be? successful in school. A few weeks ago, my dad preached a message at a youth service. He said our youth today are smoking, they are drinking, they're listening to the wrong kind of music, they're not finishing school and ending up in jail. Our young people need to be inspired. They need to be inspired to get saved. They need to be inspired to finish their school. that you need to get inspired, how do you do that? You may listen to preachers preach and teachers teach, or maybe do a project, or it was going somewhere and seeing something that inspired you. There are some things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting inspired. By staying home in front of the TV is it going to inspire you. Playing outside of the yard is not going to inspire you. Playing video games is not going to inspire you. Our young people need to know that it's not enough to just be inspired. Once you feel motivated to do something, it's important to take those steps to move towards what you've been inspired about. Now that we know it's important to be inspired and move toward and move. Once you've been inspired, how do you move? You don't. You can't let others discourage you and turn you around because it's plain and simple that you won't reach your goal if you turn around. Right. Yes. And you can't look at what's in front of you. You have to look past that and look at your goal. Yes. Like if you get a D in school, you have to work and you have to press to bring that grade up. Right. You may have to study more. You may have to get a tutor, but you have to work harder. Yes, right. Philippians, the third chapter, the 14th verse says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high 
calling of God in, in Christ Jesus. And the most important step of all is to study the Word of God. And the John 8 chapter in the 31st and the 31st verse says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So in our closing, we are just like ordinary. We live in the land of familiar. We do the same things, we go the same places. God wants us to leave our comfort zone. Amen. If I were to leave here and go to China, that would, that would be out of my comfort zone. I'm not saying God wants me to go to China. I'm just saying God wants us to get out of our comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> God also wants us to be a somebody. God wants us to be Christians. He wants us to be holy. But not only does he want, want us to be Christians, he wants us to tell somebody else about him. He wants us to get this.